Did they? All right, I'm filming now, by the way. Okay, so this is the guest room slash mom's bedroom, if she chooses it. Oh. Well, it's got a really nice space for a dresser right there, so it's not in the room. Okay, so I am just outside the bedroom that I was just in. This is the upstairs bathroom. Dean's got a bathroom upstairs also, but that's inside his room. So um, this is the guest bathroom. It's got a transom window there in the shower. Then we have the media room here. Family movie nights. What? Did they move that? No. Oh, no, we talked about that. Okay, it makes more sense because it doesn't interfere with pool tables or furniture or whatever people do with their media room. Okay, because I was going to say something's different. I don't like that thing hanging down in the middle of the... Yeah, I know. So... And then this is the, quote, little bedroom. It's 12 by 12. This will be my office if my parents come live with us and daddy will take the downstairs space that I'll be using for an office. Here's a view out into our backyard. It goes, I don't remember how many feet deep, 400 and something feet? Yeah, way back. Oh, nice. And but uh, some kind of, I don't know if it's light beer or what. I can't wait to get in here and see this all cleaned out. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. Uh, double doors on the closets. On all the closets, I think. There's the neighbor's house over there. Outside the media room. Let me look in here really quick. Yeah, double doors in the closet. I love my stair rails. The stone is supposed to go all the way to the ceiling on the fireplace. This is Dean's room. Uh, attic access up there. Attic access out there. This is his closet. We talked about putting um, a full door in here because he don't use his closet anyway. He'll put it in his dresser and chest of drawers. Oh, I was going to say, what's this? That's for that other space. Actually, that one's too tall. Yep. Look at the view Dean will have. Pretty pool out there. It does, doesn't it? It actually looks like looks like quite the oasis out there. This is Dean's bathroom. Shower, uh, tub and shower, toilet area, linen closet. And then I'll go downstairs and film. Those are for the speakers, right? Those um, outlets there. It's supposed to be for the surround sound, isn't it? I actually didn't expect stair rails to be in, so I'm glad they are. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm gonna be using for my office space when we first move in. If daddy comes to stay, we're gonna turn this into a bedroom. Then, hang on, let me get back here. 
This is just a construction door. We're going to have a mahogany door with leaded glass. Mahogany. Excuse me. So we come in here. Here's the entryway. Got a little bit of wall space there. Wall space here. Stair rails there. This is a hallway. Hold on and I'll go that way. This is our gigantic entryway closet. I'm sure they're going to add some shelves and hanging uh, rods and stuff. But I love my closet. I love how big it is. And how there's a lot of space up front for like brooms and uh, what you call it. Um, what do you call it? I can't think. Vacuum cleaner. So, and here's a little hallway. So there's the bathroom door. It's standing wide open. Here's the powder bath. It's gonna have a pedestal sink and a toilet and we got cabinets in here. So I'll be able to fix those up really cute and welcoming. I can't decide where to put my home project, the one in, that I have in Grantsville on that little wall. I've thought about there. I've thought about above that. I think that's where I'm gonna end up doing it. We're gonna put a chandelier up there. I didn't realize we had crown molding in the entryway, so I'm excited about that. Crown molding in the office area. Uh, this is the laundry room in here. With the shelving, we'll have a freezer, a chest freezer, and then the washer and dryer in here. I love that it has a hanging rod too. I won't have to figure out something to do. I do hate that they wasted that space right there in the corner. I think they could have done those cabinets better, but hey, it is what it is. Honestly, these cabinets are probably gonna get torn out and redone in a few years because I'm not a fan of them at all, but um, we'll see. I mean, they're functional, so honestly, I say that they'll probably be ripped out, but we have a very, uh, what you call it, um, historic, uh, history of not doing things like that. I'm going to either put my craft table that I had in the Grantsville house there, you know, the one with the open shelving, and I'm going to put like big casserole dishes and um, it's going to be a coffee bar on top, but the two shelves underneath will hold like casserole dishes and some of my pretty strawberry decor and stuff. And then we're going to have a dining table here. And then of course we'll have the island as well for eat up space. And then, um, I'd also thought about doing the home project on this wall or even over on that wall. So anyway, that's where we're at. So excited. So excited. The TV will go over there. We'll probably have a TV stand there um, or some kind of piece of furniture and then the TV will be mounted on the wall actually. And then we also have a garage door in. So I wasn't actually expecting that yet, but that's awesome. Okay, so weirdly enough, they did wrap the brick or uh, the stone around a little bit. Um, I've seen it on some of the houses, not all of them, but some of them do. They do that. Hold on. Okay, so this whole wall down here is going to be brick. And then they'll paint up there the color that I showed, Best Beige from, um, uh, what's it called? Pittsburgh Paints. I don't know why I can't remember the name of that place. Um, the stone color looks totally different in person than it does through my screen. So Greg thinks it's going to be good once they get it all cleaned off. Um, I'm saving judgment for later. I'm going to look at it for a little while and I'm going to see how it sits with me for a while before I do anything or decide anything. Um, but I do feel like it needs to be a little bit lighter. So I don't really know. I'm gonna start looking at Pinterest this weekend to see what my options are for whitewashing stone and stuff or lightning stone. Not really, I don't want it whitewashed really. We'll see. But yeah, it looks very different through the phone than it does in person. It's prettier in person than it is on the phone. Actually, all the colors show different through the phone. See them? I love the brick color, though. That's my favorite. 
I love the different variations and shades. And then I cannot wait to get rocking chairs for this space here. So excited. Do we want stained ones or do we want white ones? I'm thinking stained. Depends on what we end up doing with the cedar uh, shutters and stuff. It depends on what we end up doing with the shutters. They're gonna paint them pumpernickels. You think? Oh, and there's my address block. Isn't it pretty? It's the correct address too, so that's a good thing. And then I've got this over here. And they started on the brick on the exterior. Where's your AC pad too? Oh, AC pad. Yay.